Hello, thanks for joining us for today's session where we're going to spend some time discussing how Google Workspace can help your organization manage, protect, and govern your sensitive data and information. My name is Mitch and I'm a product manager with Google Workspace. And my name is Joy and I'm also a product manager with Google Workspace. Companies and individuals are creating more data than ever before and much of this data is unstructured. Today, we'll walk you through how Google Workspace can help you protect this data throughout the content lifecycle, from content creation, to classification, to retention. In recent years, the way we work has fundamentally changed, and this shift has been accelerated by the pandemic and hybrid work. Not only are users and organizations creating more data and information than they have ever before, they're also sharing it and collaborating on it with more and more stakeholders, both internal and external. These collaborators often share this information with additional stakeholders, which results in viral collaboration. This modern way of working provides many benefits to organizations, including increased collaboration stronger connections between colleagues and greater innovation. But it also presents a host of new security challenges, challenges that many legacy tools aren't equipped to handle. And here are some, and here's some data to further highlight this point. The average employee at an enterprise company has access to nearly 11 million files. 64% of companies have over 1,000 sensitive files open to every single employee. If not managed properly, this can lead to very costly data breaches with the average breach in 2021 costing companies just over $4 million, up 10% year over year. Many of these companies that have been impacted by data breaches are reliant on legacy collaboration tools and infrastructure. Many of their employees likely use thick client collaboration applications on their company provided devices and often store sensitive company information directly on these devices. This increases the risk of data loss. These devices and local applications also need to be patched and updated regularly to protect against data breaches. This is challenging in a normal environment, and it's even more difficult in the era of hybrid work and distributed workforces. These companies often rely on email attachments to collaborate with colleagues and get approvals on projects, which presents a significant malware risk. And many of these organizations are still reliant on 20-year-old on-premise identity directories to provide access and authentication to company resources. Each of these areas provide bad actors with numerous vulnerabilities to exploit to gain access to valuable company data and information. And we've seen this play out in the news. Here are just a few examples of sizable data breaches that have impacted large enterprise companies in recent years. So we've established that users and organizations are creating and sharing more data and information than ever before. Our belief is that legacy collaboration tools were designed for a different era of collaboration and simply aren't built to secure this new way of working. I would like to introduce my colleague, Joy, who will now spend a few minutes walking you through how Google Workspace a solution that was built from the ground up for modern collaboration can help you better secure your data and information. Joy? We thought it might be helpful to start by thinking about a typical content journey or life cycle at an enterprise company. Many employees will start a project by brainstorming and iterating on a piece of content or information on their own. They might create this content in a document, a spreadsheet, or a presentation. 
From there, employees will often share this content with their collaborators, both internal and external, to get feedback and input before classifying the file and sharing it with their manager or another approver. And finally, organizations will often have a retention policy in place for this data so that they can access it for any reason in the future. At each step of this journey, Google Workspace provides a number of protections that help secure your data and information. We'll now spend some time walking you through each step of this journey. As we mentioned previously, your users are creating more data and information than ever before. For many types of sensitive data, it can be critical to meet data sovereignty and compliance requirements from that initial point of document creation. This is why a few months ago, we introduced client-side encryption for Google Drive, Docs, Sheets, and Slides. This feature gives customers complete control over the encryption keys to access their data, which makes this data indecipherable to Google. Today, we're thrilled to announce an extension of this feature. We're rolling out a client-side encryption beta for Google Meet, and we're extending the Drive beta to include Drive for Desktop. As data governance regulations evolve globally, data sovereignty requirements are also increasingly important to enforce from the moment of creation. Google Workspace continues to bring the fundamental data regions feature, which includes primary and backup content, to more and more customers, giving them more control and visibility over where their data are stored. Continuing on to the next step of the journey, collaboration. Delightful real-time collaboration is one of the ways that Google Workspace transforms how people work, but all enterprises also have to protect themselves against accidental or deliberate data exfiltration. Data loss prevention allows administrators to protect content from intentional and unintentional data loss. Through predefined content detectors or custom rules, administrators can enforce various actions, including warning the user, blocking the action, or isolating the incident. Building on our data loss prevention capabilities for Drive, we're excited to announce that DLP for chat is now available in beta. As teams collaborate on their files, they may work on restricted documents containing personal identifiable information, top secret files with proprietary intellectual property, financial data subject to compliance regulation, or press releases for public consumption. Administrators need a targeted tool for data governance so that each file is handled according to its unique content and needs. I am thrilled to announce that over the next few months, we'll be rolling out a new feature to help customers use labels to implement targeted data governance in Drive. Users can classify files based on sensitivity levels, or admins can configure data protection rules to automatically label files. The integration between labels and DLP also allows admins to prevent external sharing of sensitive files based on the file's classification levels. Drive Labels opens a new level of controls for enhanced classification and policy adherence. Next, we have a short video highlighting the possibilities of this feature. Labels are configured and managed by company administrators through Admin Console. For instance, here a company has configured a file sensitivity label with restricted confidential, internal, and public as possible values. By configuring data protection rules in the Admin Console, system administrators can apply labels automatically, such as when a credit card number is detected in the document. Here, the presence of the credit card number caused the restricted label field to appear automatically because an admin configured that rule behind the scenes. In addition to using DLP rules to apply labels, admins can also nudge end users to fill out critical label fields. For example, when this user creates a new document, 
they're prompted to fill out the compliance label where they select FINRA. The admin can then handle these documents with the confidentiality and care that they require. Finally, the real magic of a label lies in the policy controls that can be tied to it. In this case, the admin has configured data protection rules that restrict external sharing for files labeled as internal. So when the user tries to share the internal file outside the domain, they cannot do so. Moving on to the next step of the journey, document approval. After creation, collaboration, and classification, many important files go through an approval process before they can be finalized. As we noted previously, many users working in legacy collaboration tools often email files back and forth for approvals, which brings additional security risks. To address this need, I am pleased to announce the launch of the document approvals feature in Drive, Docs, Sheets, and Slides. With this feature, users can request a formal approval on a document, and approvers can approve, reject, add comments, or edit the document in response. All of this can be done without leaving the secure environment of Google Workspace. We will preview this functionality for you in a short video. With the launch of the approvals feature, you can request approvals on documents stored in Drive without ever having to download or move the file. Here, the document is ready for manager review, so the user initiates an approval request through the file menu. Now, the approver receives an email with the request and opens the document. That person reviews the document, decides that it looks good, and approves it. At that point, the document will become locked, and even if users manually unlock it to make changes later, the exact text of the approved version will always be available. The final step of the end-to-end -end content journey is retention. In this space, admins can utilize Google Vault's information governance and e-discovery capabilities across the spectrum of digital assets, including Gmail messages, Drive files, chat messages, meet recordings, and more. Using retention management rules, you can keep your data for as long as your business needs it. And Vault also allows authorized users to place custodians on hold, perform content searches, and export data for further processing. Millions of customers across the globe and across a variety of industries trust Google Workspace to protect their sensitive data and information across this content lifecycle. And we're committed to rolling out new features to address our customers' data protection and governance needs. You can learn more by watching our other security session on trusted collaboration in the hybrid work environment, and you can sign up for several active beta features through the link on the screen. On behalf of Mitch and myself, thank you to everyone for watching and enjoy the rest of the event.